So in this video I'm gonna try to explain to you how you can sync the Roland S1 in this case to the Roland T8 or to this also applies to any Roland in the Aria Compact series or to any other synth that, that have a, a mini a mini jack port in the MIDI. And uh, for I already made a video about the sync port here. This one is about the MIDI port. So and to start you're gonna need what you're gonna need is a stereo cable. Stereo cable has two, two black things here. If you use a mono cable, the MIDI, MIDI port will not work, so mono cable is just one. So what you're gonna need is the stereo cable. Um, what you have to know is that uh, when you plug, when you sync several machines, you can have many of one, many of two, uh, one one is going to be the master, the other one is going to be the slave or the other ones. Just one is the master and all the other ones will follow the tempo. And some other things that I'll try to explain later. Um, so in this case we're going to make the S1 the master and the T8 the slave. And for that we're going to take the out, the MIDI out. So we're going to plug a MIDI jack cable in the out of the T8. And we're going to plug it in the in from the T8, from the S1, sorry. So we're going to take the out from the S1 and we're going to plug it into the in of the, T, the T8. And as you can see, the T8 um, loses its tempo automatically because in the menu, I know, long menu, <laughs> you're going to have a sync money set to auto. Yeah, the options are internal, so the is always. It doesn't matter if it's something is plugged or not; it's gonna follow the the tempo. For example, now, yeah, now it's always gonna follow this tempo. The internal MIDI. That's what we are doing. So, or USB. So let's see the four options. My advice is that just leave it in auto because any because anytime this the, the T8 in this case or the S1 when they when they feel there's something plugged to the MIDI port or in the USB port, I think I never tried the USB honestly, but I think we'll also do that when it feels something from this plug it loses. So now it loses this tempo and is following the master, yeah? in this case is the, the S1. So um, if I start suppress play, the T8 also starts to play. If I stop, also stops the T8. And to be able to hear, so the, um, the, the Aria Compact series has this future. I think I, I, I really liked it, like it. And nobody speaks about it is this is mix in mix out and that's what allows us is to hear these two machines or even you can have more in the area compact um, you just the sound you can hear one sound from the instrument in the other one without the need to use an external mixer like the Volkers you need an external mixer to be able to work with two Volkers so in this case we're gonna take the mix out from the S1 and we're gonna plug it into the mix in. So now the sound from the X1, I'm gonna I'm using also a stereo cable because the S1 is is stereo stereo. So I plug it so the sound now travels from the S1 to the to the T8 and then it's gonna out here. I'm gonna plug it to my camera. We're gonna be able to hear. So let's put it lower. If I press play, okay. So and then in sync, if I stop, they stop both automatically. If I stop the T8, this is the slave. Not only the T8 will stop, the S1 will still run it, will continue running. And then you have to 
press play again in tempo so that's one feature of the in sync uh, more to know about uh, via the MIDI MIDI port is that these channels, these there's sixteen channels that we can send information from from the master to the slaves, and that's the, the, these are the notes. And um, for example, a channel the S one is in the channel two. So the 16, the S1 is in channel 2, E and the T8. The T8 has two channels for the MIDI because the T8 has two instruments. There's one for the drums and there's one for the bass. So let's check that. So this is the sync. Let's check. Uh, we are. So this is the bass channel. This is the rhythm channel. We checked it. So, is the the, the rhythm is set to? You can also set to off. So will not will not receive any any will not play any. <coughs> will not receive any notes from the other uh, another other machine. So let's leave it in ten, and let's see the bass bass channel set to n one. So if I put it in the same channel as the the S1. Now when I play the S1 we're gonna hear the I'm gonna take the sound here but we're gonna hear the, the T8 playing this one hopefully. I think I have to put it louder here. So this is this is the T8 playing if I put it the S1 bring the S1 on This one and become the T8. So you can have two instruments playing the same same notes. For example, if I play press play now, the bass the T8 is gonna play what is here recorded in the sequence on the S1. So this is the first one. So the TA is playing. It's only the T8. The bass from the T8 playing. channel again to one the T8 stops playing what the S1 is playing then you can play the bass that you have here recorded so to recap stereo cable out from the master in the in from the slave you can also do it the other way around let's make it like that now so let's make the t8 the master and the s1 the slave so stereo cable in the out from the master in in, in the in the slaves so the t8 is now the the t8 is the master and if i play start play here and the S1 is following this tempo. If I make it slower. So and the channels. So there's 16 channels. If they are in the same in the same same channel, the the other instrument is gonna play also the notes from the master. And you can have several machines playing the same notes we should change, change them you just take the out from the one of the slaves and put it in the in in the next one 
now that I'm saying, you also have to, yeah, to to make the true on if I can find it true. So you have to also be able this must on just to, to the to the other ones. The other machines also go. You can also cut the chain when the the, the through is off. So I hope that was helpful. If I forgot something or if you have any other questions, please leave in the comments. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. for the sequence.